Dear Diary, it's nice to meet you. I'm Sweetie Belle, by the way. Rarity bought you for my birthday today. She said that if I have a secret or just want someone to vent to, whatever that means, then I put it in here so I don't have to remember. I don't have any secrets right now, so sorry I can't tell you anything. Anyway, my day was great. Me and my friends ate cake, and I got so many presents. But I think I like you the most. Oh, you don't know my friends, do you? My two bestest friends are Apple Bloom and Scootaloo. We even have our cutie marks at the same time. It's really cool. Hope we can talk again. Bye. Dear Diary, Hello again. I haven't talked to you in a few days, so sorry about that. Me and my friends were playing with the dolls I got for my birthday party today. Apple Bloom was a knight and Scootaloo was a dragon. I, of course, was the princess. Unfortunately, Apple Bloom got eaten. Well, see you later. Bye. Dear Diary, I made a new friend today. Her name was Angel Feather. She doesn't have a cutie mark yet. She's really pretty cool, too. She has lavender eyes, grayish pink mane, and a white coat. She says she used to live at the boutique before Rarity owned it. She loves playing with dolls just like me. And she sings pretty, too. Oh, she's here. Talk to you soon. Bye. Dear Diary, Angel Feather couldn't play today, so I went to the clubhouse today. It was weird. Papa Bloom and Scootaloo were looking for something. When I walked up to see uh, them, to if I could help them out, they tackled me. They also yelled tag at the same time. I asked them why they tackled me, and the said we were playing hide-and-seek, and that I was the last one left. And I explained to them that I was with Rarity all morning, and that I didn't know what they were talking about. They both looked at each other, confused, and looked back before asking me if I was feeling alright. It was really weird. We eventually ended up playing a game of tag before crusading. Rarity's calling me. I gotta go. Bye! Dear Diary, I know it's been a bit. Sorry for not talking. It's been a busy couple of days. I wanted to introduce Angel to Apple Bloom and Scootaloo, but Angel said she couldn't. I asked her why, but all she said was that she couldn't. A bit rude if you ask me. I didn't see her yesterday after asking. I felt bad. I upset her. I just wanted for all of us to be friends. It's raining today. My Celestia. Angel standing out in the rain. I'll be right back. Okay, I'm back. I brought Angel inside. She's soaked, poor thing. I'll be back. I'm going to get some blankets and hot chocolate for us. Back again. Angel thanked me for the blankets and hot chocolate. Something weird happened, though. When I handed her a mug of cocoa, her hooves touched. Her hooves felt like ice. No wonder she thanked me. She said she wanted to live here. I told her I'll ask Rarity in the morning. She's really ecstatic. Well, enough for today. Bye. Dear Diary, Rarity said yes. I introduced Angel to Rarity today. Rarity acted quite odd meeting her. They didn't even speak or make eye contact. Angel didn't say anything, so I asked for her. Rarity said yes, and that Angel Feather was welcome to stay as long as she liked. I have a pretty big closet, and I never use it, so I decided that Angel could live there. She looked at it and nodded in approval, so I brought her some pillows and a blanket from one of the guest rooms. I also brought her a nightlight, in case she got scared. It was my old red one that turned out uh, to shine like a pretty red light. She thanked me before going into her room and making it her own. Getting me pretty late. Good night. Dear Diary, Hey, I know it's in the middle of the night. Something weird happened. I was sound asleep and I woke up. I don't know why, but something feels off. Oh, Angel's nightlight is on, which probably woke me up. A small crack in the door, I can see it. Oh, well, good night. Rarity made breakfast for us, but she didn't make a plate for Angel. How mean! Rarity said that she didn't have enough ingredients for more than one plate. That's a load of butt. She just wants to be a big old meanie head. Talk to you later. Dear Diary, me and Angel have been having so much fun lately. 
We have been talking a lot, and she says that she wants to know everything about me, too. We're going to be besties for life. Oh, yeah. Seen the girls in a while. Oh, my Celestia, yeah, I gotta go. Bye. Dear Diary, I made a big mistake. A big one. My friends are mad at me for not talking to them for almost a week. I'll try talking to them again later today. Angel hasn't left the closet since last night. She doesn't feel well. We were alone so she doesn't get mad at me, too. I'm going to go now. Wish me luck. I don't know what's going on, but it's weird. I went to the clubhouse and I saw my friends playing with me. They were playing tag and laughing. I ran home. I told Rarity what happened and she got her friends and started looking for my duplicate. Rarity said something about changelings before running out the door. Rarity came back with her friends along with Apple Bloom and Scootaloo and began questioning us. It was a weird day. I checked on Angel, and she was in her room, pinning some pictures to the wall. There were pictures of Apple Bloom and Scootaloo and me, along with a black scribble in the background. I questioned her about it, and she said she drew the pictures because she wanted, uh, wish she could have friends as close as our friendship was. I also asked about the scribble. She said it was her... I'm exhausted from today. Good night. I don't know what, but something weird is going on. I woke up in the middle of the night again. I had a lot lately. I was blaming it on the nightlight and its red glow, but who was watching me? I woke up and looked at the closet. It was cracked open. It was staring at me. The lavender eyes creeped me out. I noticed I was awake and she ducked behind the door frame. She creeped out to sleep. But I'm too scared to get out of bed and confront her. I'm just going to lay here till I fall asleep. Talk to you soon. Dear Diary, Angel's gone. I fell asleep last night and I woke up this morning and looked in the closet to see if she wasn't there. I asked Rarity if she had seen her but she said that she hasn't. After last night I'm scared of what might happen. I've always thought she was a bit off but I thought she was just weird. I'm going to go look for her. Talk soon. Hey again. I couldn't find her anywhere. I asked everyone I knew if they had seen any filly that looked like her around, and they all said no. So I closed the closet. I don't want to see her again tonight. I'm in my bed now, trying to go to sleep. Talk to you soon. I just glanced up on the page looking at me from the doorway inside. If I keep writing, maybe she'll get bored and go away, and... I shouldn't have looked up again. Muzzle's an inch from the door now. I need to keep writing and she'll go away. Right? Oh no. Head's in the doorway now. Luna, wake me up. This isn't funny. I didn't deserve a nightmare like this, I'm sorry. God, this is half her body's in the door. Her face is scary now. Her eyes are all black and dripping slime? Ink? I don't know. She's in my room now. Her smile. So wide. Her teeth. My teeth. I think I saw bits of meat in them. I'm trying hard not to cry. She's at the foot of my bed, staring at me. I can smell her breath from here. It smells like... I'm trying so hard not to vomit from its smell. She's next to me now. 